Good morning, everybody. How are you? Um, hope you had a wonderful night. Um, hope you are, are ready. You've got your uh, sword with you and you're in James. Uh, let's just jump in. It says, don't be deceived, my dearly beloved brothers. Every generous act and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights. With him, there is no variation or shadow cast by turning. By his own choice, he gave us new birth by the message of truth so that we would be the first fruits of his creatures. Um, when, when you read this, um, you know, we've just we've really talked about some hard things in these first um, several verses. Um, you know, consider pure joy, brothers, when you find yourself in trials. Um, we talked about... Um, asking for wisdom in this so that we're not tossed to and fro. Um, uh, we, we talked about allowing God to um, raise us when we're feeling we're in humble circumstances, but also ask God to uh, lower, but I, I don't mean uh, lower as it sounds, but lower us when we are in high circumstances or things are good, we, we ask God to keep us level, to keep us balanced, to keep us um, in, in those things. And um, we, we just, we've been talking about some hard things and then it, it turns around and it seems like it's such a, a, a different kind of passage, but it's actually tied into all these. As we talk about what light is the path of you know the scripture of this, but really all of this has come before it. You know, it says, "Don't be deceived," um, because the hardship and the things that you're going through, God wants to use as a gift to you. Um, every generous act and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of Lights. When I read this, it, it just seems like these things, you know, I think we've talked about this here, that um, when Paul says, you know, I've asked three times to take this, and he goes, my, my grace is sufficient for you. And in the language, the grace and the gift, that they're very similar in words, they um, come from the same root words and stuff, and, and it's like everything that we're seeing, everything that we're doing, God wants to use it for us. Uh, he's the Father of Lights. He wants to use this to bring things that are in the dark to light, and um, and that's a gift. And it's and and you know James is saying it's a generous gift, and we look at it completely different. We I mean, we all have have looked at a, a situation we're facing that we don't want to face, that it's hard, and we try to control it without and and not allowing Holy Spirit to really take it and use it for what he wants. And so as God, um, God doesn't want us to be deceived. It seems like when these trials come through, um, James is saying, don't be deceived by them as an attack or God wants to use them. I'm not saying God's causing them. I'm saying God is using the situation you're in and he's um, making it so that there is a learning, there is a, a maturing, there is a molding in, and, and becoming more like him. And, and, and it's, in some cases it causes us you know, to drive us to the word. It should drive us to the word where we delight in these things. And we say, okay, God, what are, what are you using it for me? And how am I to, to use it? You know, I'm, I'm going to say it again. The hardship is not for the other guy. The hardship is for us. Um, sometimes we're in a hardship that is not of our own making, but we're still in it. Um, sometimes it's a hardship that we are made, that we have made. But we have to look at it, what is God doing? It's a generous act, it's a perfect gift for us in the moment that we can learn. And, and that takes a lot of work, and it takes a lot of faith, and it takes a lot of foundational scriptures and promises and people praying and lifting you up. Um, and so, as, as we read this, that's kind of what the, it's going in. It says, because see, with God, in Him there's no variation. His purpose for us is to be more like Him. His purpose is, is, is this loving Father, um, Abba. He is our Dad. He is, he is 
those things and he is loving and he is wanting to give us good good gifts i mean you know jesus said in the scripture uh if if a child asks for bread what kind of parent would give him a stone or a snake and you know it's like god gives us these things as good gifts he gives us good things as good gifts too um so it's not just the trials and 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 but you know that's the things that we were isn't that funny that's the things that we remember remember the good things um as gifts but we don't remember the hard things as gifts and i think that's a flaw in our thinking and it needs we need to kind of uh renew the mind there in that and uh and it's not easy but i think that's what god is calling us to do so there's no variation in him um, and he doesn't cast a shadow as he turns he is who he is okay um i you know he introduced himself to, to moses saying i am who i am um and uh this is this is the god we serve but it says this but by his own choice he gave us new birth by the message of truth so that we would be the first fruits of his creatures in other words he's saying he gave us this op opportunity in his creatures in his creation we were given this new birth um we because of him we should have this change in our lives it's a transforming thing in our lives it's not just that we we accept him and then we stay the same um for some people when they accept the lord all of a sudden there's a radical change and they and they know it but some times that we accept the lord for who he is and then it's a it's a journey through this change but i'm telling you that that god is desiring us this passage is really pointing us to um maturity saying we need to be changed we can't operate the way everybody else operates um even within the body of Christ God calls us on different paths I mean we're on the same truth path but he calls gives us different gifts and different things we we see scripture a little different and it's okay um but we need to allow this scripture this word this this gift this new birth to really mean something and that's this transforming power the way we look at world events should be different because of what the scripture says the way we look at people the way we see ourselves there should be a changing and 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 um because of this new birth in us because god wants us to be his the first fruits and 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 to really understand that you got to understand the first fruits in the old testament you know that was we've talked about this that it wasn't that all the harvest came up and then they chose their best and that was the first fruits no it was the first fruit that actually showed up on the vine showed up in the in the plants they would take that out they would take that off and they would give it to god it necessarily wasn't the best but it was the first and and that first was saying god if we don't get anything else we're still honoring you if 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 the harvest doesn't isn't as this is all we get there's a lot of faith in first fruits and and i and i look at this and it's like god is wanting us to be his first fruits in other words he wants us to to keep walking and he's, and he's using us and it's it's a beautiful thing because um he does have faith in us you know we don't think about that but he looks at us and he sees our opportunities he sees us as he has created us to be not as as we are he also sees where we are but when he's moving in our lives it's about where he see where he knows we can be and um and so guys i just hope today that you sense the joy of the lord and that you sense his hand on you and guys that we would be changed that we would be changed by his word and um his love guys i love you to pieces we will see you here again uh tomorrow uh, remember i'm only going to do videos tuesday through friday uh for a while so um not that i don't want to do it and if the lord gives me a word for you on i will but um 
uh, just changing up some stuff for me. So guys, I love you to pieces. We'll see you here tomorrow. Bye.